But you'll see there, that was coming up on July, we were having a hearing in July uh, for another hearing. And, and you, I just had to change the thing over to an odometer because it just keeps ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking. And uh, that was 2010, and I didn't get out until 2011. Uh, but that was the reason I did this painting, and it hung in the show uh, at the uh, conference. Um, it, uh, to me, it was, a, it was an emotional painting to paint, because you sit there and you start painting all that stuff in the middle, and you start thinking about the stuff that you've lost. And when you're in prison, you try not to think about that stuff. You just got to get through daily life. This painting here I did, um, I did this painting for Mr. Petro. He came on board on my case after he left office as Attorney General. He worked with Mark on the Clarence Elkins case, which you see in the video, which it was a uh, cigarette butt. You probably heard of that case where uh, the guy was uh, in prison. He was in the same cell block as the guy who committed these crimes. And uh, his wife thought that it was, you know, this guy could be a suspect. And she found out he was in the same prison with him and asked him, hey, can you kind of try to figure out a way to get some DNA? So he, you've seen a guy smoking a cigarette. Now this is, he, he's really uh, taking a risk of doing this also. Gets the cigarette, sends it out. Test come back, it's Earl Manning. The uh, guy who killed his mother-in-law, raped his granddaughter. And this guy lived next door to the people who was killed. The prosecutor fought and fought and fought not to release Clarence because of the she didn't want to be wrong. She didn't want to admit wrong. She didn't want to say that they made a mistake. And kept saying that Clarence was the person who did this. Finally, Petro stepped in and said, you know, we have to do the right thing here. And the prosecutor did release him eventually before Mr. Petro had done a press conference. But that's when he realized that things are wrong in this system. You've got the top law official in Ohio, the attorney general, who has been a prosecutor pretty much his whole career starts seeing the light that something is wrong. Something is wrong. Why are these people fighting this? Why the, the truth is here now. Why are they fighting it so hard? And it just hit him like a brick. And when he left office, he got a hold of Mark and said, look, I'm coming on uh, the Gillespie case pro bono. Now I'm going to tell you, when the Innocence Project takes your case, you hit the lottery. And I mean you hit the lottery for real. Because it is a complicated thing to get anyone to listen then you get the best organization in the United States to listen. I get the Attorney General comes on board right out of office. I mean, he's fresh out of office. I've hit the lottery, I've hit the mega millions, <laughs> and I've got my Red Rider BB gun, and it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's unbelievable. So then, um, I started thinking about Petro, and I'm, I'm trying to get in my head, how could this guy do this? And when he came in, actually, when he came in the first time with Mark to visit me, I said, son, you are committing political suicide right here because this is not stuff people talk about, especially politicians. And he was running for governor at the time. Yeah, he did not care. He didn't care. He said, this is wrong. It is absolutely wrong, and we're going to try to do something about it. So in my mind, you know, I'm trying, how do you think these people? You can't think these people. They just saved your life. You, you can... I could go be in his house every day and I couldn't thank him enough for the rest of my life. Or Mark or any of the kids down there at the university. So I started thinking, I thought, this guy here is like a cowboy and an Indian at the same time. And that's the reason I did this painting. It's, it's a Native American who, who has seen that, you know, the cowboys ain't all bad. Um, and he's in transition. He's trying to decipher, am I going to hold on to the Native American roots or am I going to progress on to the cowboy. And, and to me, that's what I felt Petro was doing. Um, he could see both sides of the fence, and it's not bad on both sides. It's, you know, let's go after the right, the just things to do. And him and his wife did a book on my case, Clarence Elkins' case, and a guy named Green, Michael Green out of Cleveland, called False Justice. I hope everyone in the room has read it or is going to read it. <laughs> it is a great book. It's eight myths why the innocent are convicted. Um, it's a good read. Dean, we'll come back to you. Um, Robert, why don't you tell the story of getting your DNA results and writing a poem, and then we'll have you do the poem for them. Yeah, uh, I was waiting for my DNA results to come back, so I proposed a poem called The Truth. Um, I think everybody here has their own uh, personal journey with the truth. Um, I would hope that as I read the poem, you look to see how it all relates to you. 
Hello, truth. You've been there all the time. But some people don't want to see you. Some people don't want to believe you. Hello, truth. We fight for you. We fought because of you. But there are those who live with the lie, those who sleep with the lie. Hello, truth. They play hide and seek with you and the proof. But when, but when surrounded by lies and deceit, no wonder it took so long to find you. Hello, truth. With God's armor, you come to dress me. I knew in time you would bless me. Hello, truth. I think we'll do this by questions. Um, so why don't you guys ask questions? I, would, I do want to say something to these guys. I want to say something. I'm going to do that a lot, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the DNA machine that they did his uh, test on, the company that did it named that machine Hello Truth. Uh, so Very honest. That's, that's, that's how powerful this is. It's they just, also do DNA for Pomori and all those other shows. Too. <laughs> <laughs> you guys felt when you were released and 